Hey everyone, welcome back to Wixfix. I hope you're having a fantastic day. My name is Ryan and in today's video, I'm very excited because Hardik from the Visual Identity YouTube channel and website is gonna be showing you guys how to create his award-winning website hero section. And just so you know, his channel is gonna be linked in the description below, so please go show it some love. He's been uploading some really great content there. But without further ado, enjoy the video. Jai Shri Ram guys. So my name is Hartik and I am the founder of Visual Identity. So let's just review what we're actually going to create today. So in this hero section, when we actually you know, move around a mouse, we can see all the elements start moving with it. And I know a lot of you guys might be knowing about the mouse parallax effect that is there in Wix, but there's more to it because when you see uh, actually some of the elements scroll faster, some of them scroll like slower. And because of that effect, it creates a 3D, you know, a 3D effect between those images because then it sees like some of the images might be in front which ones are moving faster and the ones that are moving slower seem to be in the back and you know even the kind of smoothness that you have with this parallax effect there's a trick to it and we're going to be discussing about that trick today uh, so you know if you're thinking it's done with each element having a mouse parallax it actually doesn't work like that i've tried it multiple times i failed them multiple times but now, you know, after I've done this effect, I'd really like to share it with you guys. So let's just jump into the editor and start creating. So let's have our initial text here that says visual identity. And let's make it hug. And now we start bringing in the images. So we'll go to on website, homepage, and the here section. And for now, I am going to be, you know, placing the images randomly because I, you know, don't want to refer to it, you know, as perfectly you know as similar to the pinpoint image uh, uh, placements that we have on the actual website but uh, we will focus more on how can we do the effect okay and Let's add more images fast. So we have the first set of four images and I want to make them move faster than the images that I'm going to add after these. So I quickly select all of them by clicking shift and click and place them in one container. And the trick is that I apply the mouse tracking effect to the whole container. Let's set it to track, make the distance like 5%. We'll keep the easing to ease out and we'll have the velocity at one. So all the elements, they move at once because we are moving the container. Feels much more smoother with that. Now, to make the other elements, I'll just quickly add more images, place them in one another container, and then we adjust the mouse effects really quickly. Sweet. So we have the other three images also, and I'll place them in a container, and we make these ones, uh, you know, move around a little bit slower than the previous ones. So we'll add the tracking mouse effect. Uh, again, make it 5% and have the velocity at maybe 1.3. Yeah. So now when I preview it, 
okay you see we have that effect but the placement of the images might not be that well right now so let's just quickly update the image positions yeah so for the initial view of the effect i think the placement of the images might work now so let's just publish it and view it on a live site yeah you see we have that 3d effect some of the images are again you know together moving much more smoother and faster relative to the other container that we have set to uh, you know a higher velocity that moves much more smoother and much more slower so that creates an optical illusion of you know when things are near to us they move faster and when things are far from us we see them move a little bit slower because of you know how fast the light reaches to us to our eyes and you know here obviously we can't be playing with the light and that is why we're playing with the speed and velocity of the elements and we've put them into a single container so that they all can move much more smoother and together i mean yeah so there is this is all the concept that is behind the uh, hero section that we have on our website and yeah we i think this is all that is to there i mean you can go around and do really creative stuff with this but that's basically going to wrap it up for today's video if you all did enjoy please consider giving this video a like don't forget to head on over to his channel link in the description and subscribe to his channel as well thank you all again for watching and i will see you on the next one Thank you.